Hello all, welcome to this online seminar on SIVO GEMS. Myself Tanay Kulkarni, I am a technical consultant for water and I am based out of Bentley's Pune office. Uh, I am a big data certified from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, uh, masters in hydraulics and a graduate of civil engineering. Uh, Bentley uh, solution offerings uh, consists of a wide range of uh, industries right from water wastewater buildings campuses oil and gas uh, power generation to communications rail transits uh, utility networks etc so out of these four verticals we have our water and wastewater offerings like this that you can see on the right of uh, the screen in water we have water distribution systems network analysis and designing software water gems search and transients analysis software which is hammer for wastewater and storm water we have storm cad and uh, sewer gems and for gis applications we have bentley map and for publishing the gis files information to web we have geo web publisher siva gems v8i is an urban sanitary and combined siva modeling and management software siva gems comes uh, as a standalone with its own platform it can also be integrated completely with microstation autocad and arcgis that means uh, you can use Siva gems from within ArcGIS or from within AutoCAD or from within the microstations. So this is the product hierarchy. Siva gems is a superset of StormCAD, Civil Storm, and Siva CAD. So basically, it's a combination of four different softwares. So it's a combination of four different engines, implicit uh, dynamic wave engine, explicit EPA swim engine, GVF uh, convex engine, which is uh, the engine for Siva CAD, and GVF ranch rational engine, which is the engine for Storm CAD. Like I said, you have two dynamic engines, which follow St. Vinant's equation. One is implicit uh, Bentley implicit engine and the other one is explicit EPA uh, swim engine. Now these engines are used for calculations of storm based on time which follows SCS methods. You can utilize uh, unit hydrographs or even mo modified rational method using these uh, engines. Now Siva Gems dynamic wave solver uh, does fully dynamic routing it also understands combined sewer overflows overflows or, or you can do infiltration and inf uh, inflow studies you can uh, analyze complex hydrology conditions using dynamic wave solver swim engine is used uh, for uh, I mean it's available over there for compatibility with older swim models you can do water quality analysis or long-term continuous simulations like groundwater water infiltration and all. Siva gems uh, GVF convex model is used for Siva CAD engine. I mean for sanitary uh, wastewater collection systems analysis network uh, design. It consists of two types of uh, analysis. One is steady state and the other one is extended period simulation steady state is uh, basically done to understand the capac capacity of the network uh, for uh, for peak hour durations or peak max day condition now you can also design uh, this entire system or a subdivision of your network using automated uh, using automatic uh, designing algorithms in Siva CAD which will give you the invert levels of the optimal invert levels of the manholes and 
optimal size of the pipes now you can also use picking factor uh, based on CPHEO and you can uh, you can uh, stress your network uh, and subject the network design under constraints of velocity cover etc now in Sivacad you can also do tractive stress calculation which will help you understand uh, uh, and uh, and finalize uh, the pipe sizes in order to avoid sedimentation and it converges the solutions very quickly so you get very fast solutions using Sivacad engine now that is uh, that this is what steady state is used for Siva jump sanitary extended period simulation is used to understand the pump system uh, uh, operations how when the pump should start or when how the pump should stop what will happen uh, if you operate your pumps under various situations now you can also do diurnal variations that is how the loading is fluctuating over a period of 24 hours you can do the wet well sizing GVF convex uh, engine will allow the modeler to use these elements you can insert a manhole pump variable speed pump battery or wet well conduit outfall pressure junction pressure pipe this is how we uh, do a typical modeling so the data required is the ground elevations the invert elevations and the sanitary loading on each of the manhole uh, for pipe the data required is the length of the pipe what is the Manning's N and the diameter of the pipe and what is your boundary uh, condition for the outfall whether it's a free outfall or you have some tailwater conditions at the outfall and the output uh, it will give you the depth of water in the conduit the velocity uh, of water in the conduit and uh, discharge through each and every conduit using Siva gems you can automi automatically design the network for optimal sizing of the pipes and uh, for optimal uh, depth of excavation that is optimal invert or invert level of the uh, manholes you can not only use sewer jumps for sanitary loading but you can also consider inflows and infiltration under wet weather loading and then you can model it and analyze your network for inflows and infiltration in the network using sewer jumps you can analyze uh, gravity networks but uh, you can also do pressure uh, pressurized uh, network analysis uh, like uh, in the case of a rising main or a pumping main now let us take a look at the GVF convex engine uh, in SIVOCAD and how does it uh, how is it used to automatically design the network the sanitary sewerage network first of all there will be a tool which is called as default design constraints uh, this is the place where the where the modeler can define uh, the co the constraints the velocity constraint cover constraint or slope constraint uh, and for nodes it can be uh, you can stress or constrain your network for pipe matching in words or crowns and you can also specify whether you are looking forward to having a drop structure in the network design now you can also do partful design where you can specify you are designing the network for 80% full or 70% full you can specify the number of barrels uh, in the conduits and you can also limit the section size now take uh, let us take a look at the loading uh, the dry weather loading and wet weather loading and how we can do it using sewer jams uh, in Siva gems you can assign loads to the manholes depending on the area uh, depending on the count that is the population the discharge uh, that is if you know the exact value of flow at every manhole you can do it you can assign that flow to that manhole individually 
you can assign the loads on the manholes depending on the population uh, and there is a tool which is called a sanitary load control center which helps us uh, doing uh, or loading the sanitary network for wet weather loading uh, we can assign uh, unit hydrographs uh, just sorry for <coughs> wet weather loading you can assign unit hydrographs or uh, you can use the curve number for uh, for assigning the uh, storm loads to the manholes uh, at the same time you can also assign local storm events and global storm events uh, for inflows uh, or illegal connections you can use inflow control center there's also a tool which is called as model builder which will help you leverage virtually any data source and create a hydraulic model so you can ex uh, you can create a uh, sanitary network using the drawings uh, the CAD drawings that you have or Excel uh, sheets that you have or GIS data that you have right and you can create a sewer jumps network you can extract all that information and create a data model there is a tool which is called as load builder which will help you assign uh, assign sanitary loads uh, to manholes automatically so instead of doing it manually you can automate the process of l building loads and assigning loads the to the model using GIS information that we have right so there there are various types of uh, distribution methods uh, that are available you can uh, use uh, this tool to load your sanitary model there is a tool which is called as terrain extraction tool it is called as T-Rex it's used to automatically uh, assign elevation to the model so if you have any data from uh, from either a shape file or a contour DXF file or a DTM or DEM you can extract that information and uh, load your load the elevation to your uh, hydraulic model automatically using this T-Rex. Now another important and uh, another important feature in Siva Gems is uh, Scenario Control Center. Using Scenario Control Center, uh, you can create uh, you can model unlimited what if situations. So if uh, this is your current scenario right if this is the current network uh, your current hydro uh, sanitary network if you want to see what will happen if you forecast the expansion the southern expansion uh, in 2010 for example right now if if you have additional service connections in the southern part of your network will the existing infrastructure be capable of catering the additional uh, flow if not uh, then what should be done right if uh, by the year 2020 you anticipate northern expansion in the city and if you join the northern uh, expansion to the existing infrastructure will that system be capable to adequately s uh, uh, adequately uh, convey water to the sewerage treatment plant right if not then will the new diameter be helpful for the expansions so unlimited scenarios uh, you can create model and uh, this helps the modeler to understand and uh, understand the network or over various scenarios and uh, take fine decisions depending on the hydraulic proof uh, that we get using these scenarios so now if you have a GIS uh, wastewater model 
you create the model using model builder and you have a Siva gems model right so on day one both the databases will be in sync both the GIS file and the model now the GIS team may work for let's say three months on that model and at the same time the hydraulic team may work for three months uh, on the sewerage network right so both the teams are working in silos right so both the GIS file and the uh, sewer gems file won't be in synchronization but uh, using model builder you can synchronize uh, both the GIS file and the sewer gems file uh, after any duration of time right so you can do waste, uh, wastewater model synchronization and uh, you can see the results and output uh, of sewer gems after computing the network either you can color code the network like this you can annotate the network for various properties like the d by d ratio or uh, or the label of the conduit the size of the conduit right the length of the conduit and the manholes for the hjl or the invert level or the ground level so on so forth and you can create uh, flex tables like this wherein you'll get all the results in tabular format and you can create graphs uh, for the storm event or the flow in the conduit right and you can compare the graphs for a particular element over various uh, various scenarios and you can create profiles like this right and there is a uh, there is much more about SEO jumps uh, and you can explore more about the product uh, on our website www.bentley.com you can find case studies at www.bentley.com slash WTR and uh, I recommend you to join our online community at communities.bentley.com Thank you very much for your time. I hope uh, that this online brief overview uh, explained a bit about the software. If you have any queries, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you very much.